Now, with this middle chart, Mercury at 8, we're going to stick to the middle chart and travel around and find out what else is at 8. And look, look where Mars is. Mars is at 8 degrees, ending its retrograde. 8 degrees, Mercury and Mars end their retrogrades almost at the same time. Mars's retrograde ended, I think, 5 to 6 days sooner than Mercury. But because Mars is such a slow mover, it's... Degrees are almost identical to Mercury's. You see that they're both at eight degrees and eight minutes, eight degrees and 19 minutes. They're 19 minutes apart or eight minutes apart. So this is communication and this is thinking. And this Mercury in Capricorn will tell us what this Mars is making choices about. Remember the astrology. You look at the sign that it's in. What rules Gemini? Mercury rules Gemini. So this Mars wants options and choices and is thinking and communicating, is networking, business, sales. It's thinking about its local community, where it lives, where it does its business at, right? It's thinking about who it wants for neighbors or who it doesn't want for neighbors. Thinking about the school system, Gemini energy, teaching, the shops that are around the place, at the market. Very serious thinking going on, right? And this Mercury is like, but can I hang there for the long term? It might seem like a great place to visit, but can I live there? This is some serious thoughts, some serious thinking. And this can also have to do with, with someone's job if you work within social media, because it's Mars and Gemini. This is the post office. This is News in general, think about that, news in general, information, the way you share information, um, Mercury, thinking about the long term, thinking about the goals, the ambition, thinking about the serious parts of life, okay, that's what Mercury's doing, and that Mercury's directly, that information, just fill in all the details of Mercury and the house that it's in, and you're going to see how this Mars and this Mercury are irritating and agitating each other. This is what we would call like a queen conch's energy, uh, five houses, five signs away from each other. Exactly. So it's like that irritating itch. You have to do something. You have to either ask for help, or you needed, you know, you need to get an assistance from a tool or a neighbor. This is neighbors. Gemini is neighbors. Uh, it's all about coworker energy as well, and it's 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 options. I want options. I need options to get out of this uncomfortable situation that I'm in. So for this chart and an example, this is the 11th house of friends. Somebody's, you know, there's friends and they're like, oh my gosh, these are my friends, but it's Mars there. So there may have been a lot of things that were uncovered and revealed about the people that they called friends. And these could also just simply be your social causes and the groups that you belong to. Okay. Now let's find Venus because Venus began Venus kicked off the retrograde with Mercury, serious Mercury, serious Venus. Now Venus is, look, Venus is over here getting close to Saturn in Aquarian energy. So Aquarian energy, right, it's air. So that means Venus was trining Mars, right, because it's in air. You see, we got Vulcan and Chiriclo there, Venus and Saturn. So like, a week before this retrograde, this Venus, right? A week before, uh, this Venus would have been training this Mars. So there was a communication and a conversation. A communication, a conversation, but it was new. Venus represents values and money and possibly love. A new interest, a new love interest possibly, because it's Venus and Mars training. So there's something super compatible happening. But here's the caution. And this is where we're going to end the video, but here's the caution. This Mercury is not out of its retrograde zone yet. So all this new, exciting stuff, right, that because of the Venus and all the stuff in air trines Mars, keep in mind, you don't want to make any decisions until this Mercury gets to here. After it reaches 24 degrees, that is when it's out of its shadow zone because that's where it began. You see that? It'll eventually will get here, and that will not be until February 8th. And at that time, well, we'll save that for part three. Thank you for checking out the video, and thank you for your time.
So below the video, I'll have all the degrees for those of you who like to pay attention to the degrees in your chart. Again, if you don't know and you want to know, just comment below.